Reinforced concrete beams are the horizontal structural members which is designed to resist bending moment. There are various factors which can cause cracks in these beams. However, it is essential to assess the type, location, width and the extent of the crack to determine the cause and potential impact on the beam structural integrity. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about the different types of cracks developed in reinforced concrete beams, the reason for the cracks which is developed in beams and the importance of crack assessment techniques to ensure the structural integrity and safety of the building. So without further delay, let's begin now. Flexural cracks can occur in the reinforced concrete beams due to the bending stresses. When the load is applied on the beam, the beam tends to bend like this. In beam, top is compression and bottom is tension. Generally, this flexural cracks can occur at the bottom of the beam, that is tension zone of the beam due to bending stress. These flexural cracks are usually vertical and propagate upwards as the load increases. They are generally closely spaced and evenly distributed. The main reason for these flexural cracks are excessive loading, insufficient reinforcement, poor concrete quality, inadequate beam sizes. Shear cracks are developed in beam due to shear forces. When the load is applied on the beam, it tends to shear off the beam. Shear force is maximum near the support. Shear cracks are diagonal cracks which are typically inclined at an angle of 45 degrees and are located near the support. These shear cracks are serious when compared to the flexural cracks as they indicate the potential for diagonal tension failure which can be sudden and catastrophic. The major reason for these type of shear cracks are excessive loading, insufficient shear reinforcement, poor concrete quality and inadequate beam size. Torsional cracks can occur due to twisting or torsional forces in beams. These are spiral shaped cracks that wrap around the beam. These torsional cracks tend to reduce the load carrying capacity of the beam and it is often accompanied with other types of cracks. The reason for torsional cracks are excessive loading, insufficient torsional reinforcement, poor concrete quality and inadequate beam size. Shrinkage cracks can occur due to the shrinkage of the concrete as it cures and dries. Generally, these cracks are very short and it can appear anywhere on the beam surface. These shrinkage cracks are not structurally significant but wide or extensive shrinkage cracks can affect the beam's durability and aesthetics. The reason for these shrinkage cracks are high water content, inadequate curing and high temperature. Thermal cracks can occur due to thermal expansion and contraction of concrete, inadequate thermal insulation, poor concrete quality and difference in temperature are the reason for thermal crack. Corrosion crack occurs when the reinforced steel within the concrete get corroded. These types of cracks are mainly in line with the reinforcement and and may be accompanied by rust stain or spalling of concrete. These corrosion tracks severely weaken the beam by reducing the bond between reinforced steel and concrete and by reducing the cross-sectional area of the reinforcement. In addition to this type of cracks, we have deflection cracks and construction cracks. Deflection cracks can occur due to the excessive deflection of beams under load. Construction cracks occur due to inadequate construction practices such as overloading, poor design, poor construction practices and environmental factors. First one is structural integrity. Cracks can compromise the structural integrity of the beam which leads to collapse or failure. Next one is safety. Cracks can impose a safety risk to occupants as they can lead to collapse or falling of debris. And the last one is maintenance. Cracks can require costly repair. Neglecting them can lead to further damage and safety risk. 
identifying the cracks early by monitoring and regular inspection of beams allow us to ensure the structural integrity and safety of the building so friends i hope you all have learned about the different types of cracks in beams if you have any queries you can post it in the comment box your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching